Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again to yet another one of our weekly video visitations. School let out last Friday and uh, already things are quieter around here. It's just amazing when 495 little people depart the vicinity how much quieter things get. Thus far I'm liking it just fine. We are still about some pretty busy stuff, though. Maybe most consequentially, um, we're in our second round of assistant principal interviews. So I spent, uh, dang, I guess about three hours this morning doing that. Um, I know a lot of you realize this, but I guess it bears repeating. Uh, everybody's good. God loves everybody. God is love. But I'll tell you, truly competent and accomplished people uh, do not grow on trees. It's, um, it's not an easy thing to find uh, just the right kind of person for some of the complicated work that we do. You know, like Megan Berdalski, for instance, do you know her? I'm telling you, we'd be a pile of glowing embers if it weren't for Megan Berdalski and the good work that she does. And you know, some other people on the staff too, but I'm, Megan's just sitting here with me, so that's why I mention her. She is really, really good. If I had to go out and find somebody like her, you'd never see me again because I'd have to hunt to the ends of the earth. So anyway, right now we're trying to find us a suitable um, assistant principal. And we talked to two good people this morning, and uh, maybe we'll have another, another interview also in a few days. Hope to have that decision made soon, because as you know, that's an important slot to fill. Another thing that we're doing around here that I wanna tell you about, and this is where Megan comes in again. She has decided to uh, pitch in and really do a deep, deep cleaning and reorganization of our storage spaces underneath the church and um, the old rectory, what we call the office now. Oh my, I, I call it the cancer of creeping crap. You know, I, the, the parishes are just, well, I mean, house, households are like this too. It's just over time you collect so much stuff and lots of it is of rather marginal value. Well, anyway, we're going through things and uh, trying to sort stuff out and get rid of the junk. Now, interestingly, yesterday, you'll never believe what we ran into in a big old pasteboard box buried underneath a mountain of newspapers and wrappings. We found an old plaster statue of the visitation and I think, uh, I'm pretty sure, it was the statue above the tabernacle on the old high altar, you know, back in the Monsignor McDonald days. It's in terrible shape. In fact, one of Elizabeth's arms is just <laughs> broke completely off. She's the one-armed Elizabeth. And uh, we routed around in the box there and finally found her arm. And you know, I'm not satisfied with that old statue just moldering in the basement. You know, it, it's just, it, it, it's too, too fine of an artifact, in my estimation, from the history of our parish. So on my annual go to St. Louis baseball trip with my brother in September, I'm gonna take that thing to a, a shop I know over there and, I, and see what it's gonna take to get that statue put back together and cleaned up. Maybe we'll find a nice place for it somewhere over in school or something. I don't think it's really consonant with the uh, decoration of the church presently, but we'll find a good place for it because it deserves that. Don't you think, Megan? I do, I do. I think it's pretty. It's, it's, it's got potential. Yes, definitely has potential. It yeah. just needs some fairly major repair it, work. It, it deserved saving 
from its forgotten fate, forlorn by the foundation. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. And I don't know, you're finding other Nick, bitty things down there too, aren't you? Uh, not very much else that's, you know, worth a whole lot of anything. It's just more about doing some reorganization so that we are making better use of the spaces we have and we can, things make more sense. Right, get things cleaned up and fixed up. We found two, two boxes of these rondelles that the windows in here are made out of. Hope you didn't put anything on top of those. No, they're, they're by themselves on a <laughs> shelf with nothing else. I don't know, I hope we never need them, but it's good to know we've got them in case we do. So anyway, that's going on. That's going to be a big deal. And you know we had to turn all of Ty Hall into sixth grade classrooms during the pandemic. Now that school's out, we'll get Ty Hall put back together. And maybe we can begin using it for parish social events again. And even like, before a sh social event, we're having a blood drive. Like the parish blood drive <laughs> that Megan wants me to tell you about. Tuesday, June 15th from 12.30 to 6.30. If you want to come drop off a, a pint of uh, blood, why, you, you can sure do that. I ought to do that myself. I don't give blood often enough. And you can sign up on the website? Yeah, Is there's that right? a link to the blood center's website on our website okay. to sign up. It's Tuesday the 15th of June from 12.30 to 6.30. All right, beyond that, I want to remind you that we are now a few days into the reestablished weekday mass schedule. So Tuesday, 645, 815, Wednesday, 645, 815, Thursday, 645, Friday, 815, Saturday, 815. And then we're retaining the COVID weekend schedule for now. Saturday at 4 o'clock, Sunday morning at 8 and 1030. Um, some weekends, it looks to me like people are starting to come back to church. Other weekends, I just don't know. But this is encouraging. I get out, you know, in the neighborhood, walk around, run into people here and there. Routinely, they say to me, Oh, boy, I've been, now that everything, I'm going to get back to church, you'll be seeing me. So I hope that uh, what I hear comes to pass. Okay, um, Megan, I'm having a terrible time. I, I, I can't think of anything of any consequence. Can you? I think that covered everything that you had wanted to cover. Okay, good deal. So things are rolling along, and uh, thank you so much for your attention on this. We'll look forward to seeing you again next weekend. And until then, goodbye and God bless. <laughs>